welcome to Brands Hatch for Race Car Live. This is an opportunity for you to see what race series and championship organisers have to offer in the 2010 season. Peter, you offer track days and tuition here at Brands Hatch and as part of Motorsport Vision. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, you're exactly right. What we're aiming to do is take uh, drivers that enjoy their cars uh, and want to drive on the circuit and, and we offer them that chance to bring their own car to Brands Hatch, uh, take it round, drive it for themselves. Paul, tell us about the coming season for next year with the Mini Challenge. Um, well, we've got um, our existing two classes, which uh, looks like it's going to be strong again. We had a lot of uptake here, uh, people paying their money over, getting their race numbers, so that's quite exciting. Paolo, a brand new series starting next year. Tell us all about it. Right, you rightly said it's a, it's a brand new series. We are using our fantastic and cool looking uh, Abarth 500. We're going to be the only new series next year in touring car. Um, the project starts uh, from last year. There is an Italian and European championships uh, already going on. And um, in a nutshell, we got a high profile series going to very cool meetings, the big uh, promoted in UK and the relatively low budget series. So that's where we stand at the minute. So accessible for all, you are looking to attract anyone? As long as accessible is, uh, is a good word in motorsport, yes. It's, uh, the budget is, is quite low, to give you reference, it's going to be between Mini and Clio, but the profile is, uh, is much higher. So yeah, the cars are quite cheap to run, there's been over-engineered, brake disc, hubs, everything, the engine as well and the gearbox, so they're quite reliable and uh, you're not really looking to spend a lot of money for the value they are. Well, best of luck for next season. Thank you very much. Laurie, an exciting new season for oh, next yeah. year. Tell us all about it. Well, fundamentally, it's just an all-wheel drive challenge. There, there isn't a series in the world currently that's uh, all-wheel drive. And there seems a big pool of cars doing track days and also, you know, cheap base cars that are all-wheel drive, including sort of Audis, Subarus, um, Nissan Skylines. We've got Lancia Integrales, Escort Cosworths. Um, and there's a whole range of Evos, 1 to 10. This is obviously the latest spec behind us, um, Evo 10. But we've had 1, 2, 10. There's a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as well. So um, the series is, it is dominated by Evos because it's one of the best all-wheel drive cars available.